Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Welcome to the Capricorn December 2016 love reading. I'm Charles and thank you for stopping by and we are about ready to go. Uh, readings are for your entertainment purposes only. Uh, not everything I say will pertain to each and every one of you but if you feel a little tingle, a little twitch, a little feeling of zen within you, well, perhaps the answer or the response I'm giving is directed at you. So, anyway, I hope everyone's month is going okay. Um, you ready for the holidays? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm ready, I guess. Not doing much of anything. I'll be doing some readings and we got some paranormal activities going on. And uh, Anyway, uh, remember, I am still I still have some crystals. I am still sell, uh, selling, I guess, uh, my merch. You know, I have some uh, love crystals available. And uh, just get in touch with me if you're interested in purchasing one of them. And uh, we're saying at least a $10 donation for one. But we've also got to put on a little bit of shipping and handling, you know. So, uh, just get in touch with me if you'd like one. And uh, I'll, I'll hook you up. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? We're about to do some spreads here. I'm going to do a little spread on married folks. I'm going to do a spread on people who are dating. Um, you know, we really don't know how the reading's going to go, but I know I want to look at the married folks, uh, people who are dating, uh, people who are not in a relationship, in other words, single-ish, and... Uh, what else? Oh, and anyway, uh, I know I'll be doing a general type of spread for at the end, or near the end. A uh, little spread that will include just about everybody. Um, so, you know, we do general readings when people don't really know what to ask and such. But, uh, you know, I'll hit the cards and we'll see uh, what comes up, you know. And uh, you'd be surprised what can come up during a general reading. So anyway, uh, let's get going here. I just split the deck to the left, and I'm laying out the spread for towards the right. And uh, yeah, this is for Capricorn. Happy birthday, Capricorn. So I'm, 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 I'm Capricorn. You no, know, I was a Christmas baby. I was born on December 25th. So anyway, this is for married folks. Oh boy, the energies are strong. I'm done with the jibber jabber. Let's get on with things here. Uh, married folks, uh, is this, uh, you, you're, uh, well, let's get this out of the way. I uh, get somebody coming back to you. This looks like a past, um, relationship. Um, is this, you know, what I was going to say, is this, you know, like your second or more, uh, uh, marriage, uh, because it looks like somebody from your past, and it looks like a sweetheart might be back in touch with you, and your partner might feel a little you know, a little funny about it. Now it's not your fault, but you know, uh, you know, partners get a little funny when uh, an ex of, of yours comes around. So, uh, yeah, 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 you know how that could go. Now let's try not to get it uh, blown out of hand. Um, reassure your sweetheart that uh, no, they are your sweetheart now and forever. As long as you know, yeah, tell them forever. Him, her, tell tell them forever. All right. Uh, make sure you you make them feel wanted. You know, don't don't hurt their self confidence. Okay, um, married folks. It looks like uh, well, it's almost like some sort of religious event is happening with you spiritually. Um, well, this is a spiritual event. You know, by joining me for this, so perhaps uh, well, whatever. I'm not I'm not going to get into that stuff, but uh, um, it looks like your spirituality is getting a little bit stronger here in December. This is a good thing, you know, mainly because it makes you feel well and you treat others better, all right? Uh, perhaps uh, your faith in humanity has been a little low lately. And I'm not just talking about the folks in the USA, you know, uh, I'm really feeling outside of the USA. Yes, in the USA too, but um feels like uh, around the world that a lot of you have gained a little bit faith in humanity, all right? And uh, if you want to increase your faith, well, December looks like it's a good time. If you need a little prayer from me, a little something extra, a little boost in the pants, you know, towards your spirituality, well, uh, 
yeah, get in touch with me, with me uh, at the same email. I'm going to pop up there shortly. All right, and I'll, I'll, I'll put in a good word for you, all right? Uh -huh. Okay, because uh, those of you who don't know it, I am a pagan priest, all right? So, uh, so uh, what else we got here? Uh, we get you building something. Uh, guys, yeah, gosh, a lot, a lot of stuff is going towards the holidays, okay? Um, you know, uh, regular psychically, uh, you know, there's going to be some out there who want to hurt the holidays, but no, uh, we're not going to let that happen. You know, because uh, I get guys, you gotta, you're gonna have your hands full uh, trying to build things. I got things being built by you and moms. All right, uh, I'm getting that too. Uh, are you buying? Are you possibly buying some uh, complicated gifts that need assembly? Uh, well, uh, you better put yourself in a place that's gonna, you know, that you could stay for several hours because I do not think that this task that you are about to uh, tackle will go as smooth or as fast as you think it will. Do not leave it for your Christmas Eve because you might just wind up, well, uh, a lot of you, I see you're going to be up late anyway, okay? Yes, this is love, romance, and family life, so uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you might want to reconsider, uh, you know, putting everything together after the kiddos are asleep because it looks like uh, you might need a few more hours than expected. Convincing? Yeah, yeah, convincing. You're going to have to convince your uh, sweetheart that uh, there are family members on your side who would like to meet your sweetie, okay? Um, it looks like your, your, your partner might be a little bit nervous, or a lot nervous, uh, about meeting your side of the family, okay? Well, you might have to say, well, you're going to meet her side or his side, and uh, they got to meet yours. Like it or not, you know, because I, I do see you uh, staying in this relationship for quite a while, or forever, and uh, you're going to have to do it sooner or later. So, uh, yeah, maybe you want to get some uh, holiday cheer and uh, get ready <laughs> and go visit the family. So, anyway, that's the... Uh, Married, that's what I get into married at the moment. Let's get in for the dating. The dating. Alrighty. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, we're doing a little spread. And this is when I tell you that I am available to go private. Um, I like to do readings on Skype. And uh, whether or not you turn on your camera, it doesn't matter. Uh, but it would be nice to see you. And chat with you real time you know and it's just your energies and mine just get in touch with me through the email remember i'm in the central standard time zone and if you send me an email and i don't get back to you it happens uh well send it again if you really need a reading from moi okay you know how dating it looks like uh you know if you're dating you know that special guy or gal it looks like december is going to be a good month for you here all right it looks like you might need to uh, take charge of the uh, relationship a little bit more here in December. Looks like your partner might be a little lost on making some sort of decisions. Okay, we get decisions, you know, more than one. Okay, um, and uh, most of these people taking charge are the females, okay? Um, I see the man, you know, or, you know, your partner, you know, just a little unsure. You know, it's not that they can't make the decision by, by all means. Uh, it's just that they don't know whether they should or they should not. Uh, you might need to help direct them, okay? Take the blinder off and show them the way, all right? Okay. Uh, it also looks like some of you will have to be a little bit, a um, little bit more patient here in December with your partner. I see that your partner might have uh, upset you a little bit most recently, and uh, but it looks like that they're going to try to apologize to you and I see that you should take their apology um, I think you know what we're seeing here is that they might have made a mistake and they are truly uh, feeling bad about it and they uh, will probably not do this again whatever it is all right no it's not the uh, you know fooling around with someone else it's nothing like that you know they just do the 
a bonehead thing and you know uh, well you can't be mad at them forever okay show them that you you can get past certain things okay certain things not everything I'm not telling you to get past everything but you know yeah so and um, I'm not a lawyer but I see some of you have some sort of a, a court date or something going on here all right and it's not just in the USA so I don't know I guess you call it court in your other countries but um, it looks like that you should make out fairly well you know on something that's coming up here um, yeah, but why is this coming up in your, your love reading, uh, you know, dating folks? Um, well, okay, well, I guess it could, you know, it, it would put a stress. I got stress on, on the relationship. So, yeah, well, uh, you know, if your partner has to, if you or your partner has some sort of legal action going on, um, yeah, they might be a little stressed out up until it's over with. But it looks like it's going to go pretty well. All right, so if it's you, well... Try not to lose too much sleep over it, you know, you know, hey, you know, it's upsetting, I know it's upsetting, but, you know, remember your partner is feeling it too, so, okay, well, dating, it looks actually pretty good, you know, the court stuff, you know, yeah, you know, that would make anybody nervous, you know, most people nervous, you know, but, uh, it, it'll work out, so don't, don't worry too much about that, and then you got your holiday coming up, you know, I don't see anybody getting locked up or going to, Going to the slammer, getting put in the pokey. Nope, I don't see that. Uh, hey, uh, uh, little thing here. Uh, does your partner possibly want a pet for the holidays? Uh, well, um, yeah, yeah. Hey, to each your own. Remember, get your pets from a hey, uh, rescue if you can. A lot of good pets out there looking for a good home. And it looks like your partner will really take care of it. Hmm. No, I'm talking about maybe a cat, dog, bird, or something. Like, along those lines. Uh, but, uh, I see that you maybe should think about that. Hmm. You know, you're looking for that special gift? Well, you know, I don't know about calling your living thing a gift. I don't know, you know. Uh, what do you think? I don't think, I don't think calling a living thing a gift, but giving a, I don't know, whatever, uh, your partner might really appreciate it, okay? Yeah, okay, um, let's do that special question, you like somebody, do they like you, all right, for the people who are interested in that, okay, so that's for more or less single folks, think about the person, okay, think about the person, you got it? You thinking about the person? Look at their face. Move those eyes up. Yeah. You're wondering if this person likes you the way you like them. Or even if they like you. All right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Split into the left. Spread into the right. Does that person like you? Uh, yes, I'm getting that. Yes, I get I get that several times. That the answer is yes. Uh, does this person know that you like them? Yes, I'm getting that. Um, uh, if it's a guy, uh, there's a small possibility that the person, that the guy doesn't know that you really like him that much that way. But does he like you? Yes, he does. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, some of you might like someone who's a little... Or a little more than little uh, is shorter than you and the person might be a little self-conscious about that or are you the shorter one feel a little self-conscious about that don't let that uh, uh, interfere with uh, possible new relationships here with that new person well it's not yeah I guess it's a new person for you because it's not it's not an ex sweetheart but does the person like you uh, yes bam so there, uh, good for you. Yeah, a, little, a little uncertainty on a couple of folks. No, it's not that they don't like you. It's just that you need to spend a little more time for with them, for them, with them. Okay, and the only way you're going to be able to figure that out is to get close. Okay, open up a little bit. Some of you feel pretty close. You know, you're closed. You know, and uh, you got to be a little bit more open. All right, I'm doing a general spread for you guys. Capricorns. All right, bam, bam. Yeah. Some of you going away this month. Some of you are going to be traveling a little bit. Uh, okay, 
and uh, that looks like it's gonna be a good thing. You're gonna meet, actually, I got you, you're gonna meet a sweetheart out there, all right? Uh, if you're traveling to see a sweetheart, well, it looks like it's gonna be a good, good meeting, a good rendezvous, okay? And okay, somebody has recently, you know, within the past couple of weeks, talked with uh, somebody, a possible past sweetheart. Uh, somebody that you are fond of. I don't. I don't know if you guys really got it on, but um, there might be a rendezvous coming for you. Rendezvous for you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it, it looks good. Um, now let's see if I could get something here. Uh, you might have. Uh, it's a little something else. Uh, you might have uh, thought that this person was a little bit sneaky in the past, but uh, I see that. No, nah, it's not as sneaky. You know, right now, uh, you know, in, in the past, you know, it might have been a year or so ago that you were a little unsure of this person, but uh, now it looks a little bit better. Okay, now I wouldn't go telling this person and everything, your hidden secrets, you know, deep, dark secrets, but, um, well, I, I'd give this person the time of the day, and, you know, uh, if you want to go out and, uh, you know, get to know them a little bit better nowadays, uh, yeah, go ahead. Hmm. And we get bright things. Things look good in relationships. I feel that feels like it's coming up in the dating area again too. So uh, no, this is this is telling me uh, spiritually that um, you might be interested in someone, and uh, it looks like your bond with this person is going to be a little bit closer. It's going to get tighter. Um, it, this is really feeling uh, like it's for our younger folks here, uh, 18, 24, 25, 26, 27. Um, it looks like uh, something new is going to happen with you in your love department. A good thing that's new, and uh, that's cool. And uh, yeah, and there's a financial increase which is going to help you within your current relationship, and that'll take away some stresses. And that is really cool. And I really feel like some of you should come and visit with me, bring your questions, uh, because I see a lot of a lot more answers could come for you in your love romance type of situation so ladies and gentlemen uh capricorns happy birthday and uh, enjoy your holidays and i'll be around if you need me so remember to please thumb up the video that's like the video the old hitchhiking sign yeah I, this thumb's gotten a lot of use out of the years doing that but uh and uh remember to leave comments uh, share the video where you can, you know, let other people know that we're out here. You know, you're open-minded. Oh, you got some open-minded friends too, uh, friends and family. Well, uh, introduce them to our channel. And remember, if you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Or as we leave the video, you can see that circle with my picture in it that says subscribe. So, whatever. Uh, I'll see you around. I'm here. And don't forget to see our uh, uh, Monday through Friday morning rush readings. And uh, reading is done. Bye.